then I guess I guess you're up and going, baby. Hello. Hey everybody. Happy Saturday night. Hope everyone's had a great weekend, great start to their weekend. Welcome. Oh, it got lots of red on it. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, right. let's hope we have better video than we did last time. But anyway, we are glad you're here. We are happy to be here. I am Robin. Behind the camera and behind the computer is Bill. We are Raincross Farms Makery, and we love to craft. We like to do something creative every day, and we'd like to inspire you to do the same thing. So um, let's see. So if you are watching, say hello so we know you're there. Let me pop this up on my phone so i can see it closer no it's just i don't know anyway itchy head okay so say hello if you're watching and hey cheryl welcome i know you're just you're just beside yourself because now we're on huh <laughs> thanks so much for being here Awesome. Okay. So if you are, if you're new, especially let us know you're new, let us know where you're watching from. And if you are, you know what to do when you watch Facebook lives, this really helps whoever you're watching, but especially us, if you would hit that heart button to love our page, to love our video, if you will follow our page, that would be great. And if you would share it out to your page to some friends of yours that you know that are interested in crafts or if you belong to any craft groups we would love it if you would share our video out to them that helps get our name out and facebook likes that so we want to make facebook happy so love follow share awesome thanks so much okay so tonight before we get started i i have some announcements i can't this is such a great deal. I can't just not share. So this is our club transfer. We're not using this tonight, but this is our exclusive club couture transfer. The only people that can get this transfer are club members or designers. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a once a month uh, monthly subscription service. And each month for $19.99, you get a transfer of this size different design every month and you get three coordinating paste packets to chalk your design on a surface of your choice so it's awesome it's free shipping and this month the month of february they are doing something amazing with club members if you join up for join club in the month of february you will not only get this transfer you will also get a mystery pack of five transfers from last year's series so those aren't available anywhere you can't buy them unless you can find somebody who's who's selling one but you get so you end up getting six transfers for just joining at 19.99 and if you are currently a club member or if you join there's another way you can get another pack of five mystery transfers different ones from the years prior to 2021 and that is if club members purchase $60 at least $60 worth of product before tax and shipping they will also get another a, a, a different pack of five mystery transfers so it's it's an awesome way you could conceivably get 11 transfers so anyway if you're interested in club um type club in the comments or i think there's a pinned comment that would tell you tells you some more about that hi tina welcome i saw that carrot tina yes that wasn't a carrot that, that, that was, was uh, yeah that was a carrot on steroids you don't need more than one of those <laughs> she honestly her carrot was like a bigger than a baseball bat anyway more like a watermelon small watermelon okay so the project we're going to do tonight uh, we have some we have a new catalog launching on Tuesday morning and at that time there are a lot of things in the current catalog that will be retired so they may or may not ever be available again so I wanted to do a couple of 
I have a I have a lot of favorites. So I wanted to at least do one of my favorites that are going away. The last chance to get them will be Monday night. So I am I wanted to do this one. This is from the Farm Charm collection. I've used it before and it says feels like home. It has a little rooster. Is that, is that a chicken or a rooster? It has a little bird on top. We're not going to use that tonight. But I wanted to do the feels like home transfer. I also couldn't decide. I also kind of wanted to do the welcome star tile. So that was that would be another good option. But I decided feels like home were we're one out. Okay. So here's another awesome transfer if if you're interested in it you got to get it by monday night okay now the surface to put it on i have some dollar tree surfaces i wanted to use this was the first one i thought of it's this little frame it is about six by six cute little frame um this whole this whole thing here pops out what is on here is actually a, a, is a paper that is glued to the board. So you could either pop this out, rip that off, sand it down, or you could just use the back, paint over that and chalk on it. But then I found something even better. So this is a possibility, but this is what I found. Is this not cute? It is a barn cut out. So it stands up. It's wide enough that it stands up. So we are going to chalk feels like home on a barn. I love barns. You guys love barns. Hey, Alana, welcome. Yes, nose boops to Daisy. Daisy's Daisy's pouting because we won't let her lick her knee. <laughs> Poor baby. Now, this is also just paper, paper that's glued on here. And this little part pops off too. So we're going to disassemble this. So I have my magic tool here, my magic spatula. So it's it's stuck on by a tiny little, it's a nail, but it's- Is that truly really a magic spatula? It's magical. So I'm just, I'm just popping that little thing off. It's held on by some little teeny tiny nails. And I'm going to- Little teeny little tiny teeny, nails. I mean, and they don't even have heads on them. They're just like, I don't know, what are those, brads or? Yeah. So I'm- just going to use this and see if I can. If I can't pull them out, I'm going to chop them, chop them off. Okay. So I have to be careful because those things are are sticking out. But it won't matter because I'm going to put this little piece back down over it. So I I can't get a grip on that. Maybe if I use pliers. But I don't have pliers handy. So, well, I at least kind of mashed it down so it's not going to, maybe it won't hurt me so bad if I scrape. And I'm just going to peel this off. And, of course, it doesn't all completely come off. But, so we're going we're gonna to sand it down. So that's how you bought it from Dollar Tree? Yes. It had that, it had that love lives here on it. In but paper. In, on paper yep and so I'm going to take some water and just kind of spray this okay now this top part has a coating on it so that water is not going to absorb but the rest of this if I can get that top layer off I can get the water to absorb it's like taking off have you ever had to take off wallpaper giant pain And I'm using this because it's got a uh, beveled edge, but it's not so sharp that it's gonna cut me. Okay, so I've got I've got that top layer off that had the coating. So now the water will the water will penetrate in there, will soak in, and. And I can scrape that off. Okay. 
And if, if your paper is adhered really, really well, just paint over the top of it. Mine wasn't so much, so I wanted to take it off. Very exciting, isn't it? I don't know, there's some lady on, on TikTok right now. She's repurposing an old farmhouse from like the 1860s or something. And that's what she's doing. It's scraping, scraping. wallpaper. On. We're watching it like crazy. Okay, I'm going to give it just another soaking. This is kind of like, it's not like a hardwood. It's kind of like press board. But it, it's in pretty good condition. It's not it's not cheap. It's a it's a solid uh, hunk of press board. <laughs> okay, so I think I've got enough of that off. The rest I can take off with my sanding block. So let me give it paper towel. And dry this up just a bit. Okay, watching those little. Uh, sharp nails sticking up okay and that actually kind of left a uh, gooey gooey surface so i'm going to use going to use a clorox wipe see if i can get some of that adhesive off of there again i'm going to paint over it but i want to give a good surface to my for my paint to adhere to. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Now I'm going to get out a sanding block. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at a hardware store. Get a little, get a little wet. So I could, I could actually go on the back and just turn that over. Either way, I could do it on both sides. But I only have one of these little Realistically, frames. Realistically, you could probably trace out on a chipboard or cardboard and have one for both sides. Okay. Okay, so I just sanded that off. That got off any any extra adhesive, and I keep keep snagging those nails with my paper towel. You have one of your little hammers down here. Tap them all the way in. No, I don't have a hammer down here. I'm your, good. Your boys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I do. I do. I have a little hammer. Okay. He's so smart. I think I'll keep him. After this long, you're going to go ahead and take me? Well, still early. It's a real pain to break somebody new in, I know. Okay. So we are going to paint this. And what color do you paint a barn? Everybody all together now. What color do we paint a barn? Peach. I don't want to hear it from you, Mr. Purple Phone Case. Right. We're going to paint it red. Barn red. This is actually crimson. But this is chalk paint uh waver this is waverly brand so i believe i got this at walmart uh some walmarts still carry this brand some no longer do but just about any craft store hobby store has some brand of chalk paint and i haven't noticed a huge difference between them i am going to get a sheet of cardboard to lay down here and i'm going to I'm going to paint the sides. And I will go back and paint the back. I'm not going to right now because it, it's kind of wet from the water that I put on this. So I will go back afterwards and paint it because I like to completely finish my projects front and back, especially, especially the ones I'm trying to sell but also just for myself because I deserve, I deserve finished pieces too. They just kind of look a little more, I don't know, professional when the back has been painted also. 
Cheryl says she loves Red Barns. One of my old friends converted part of their barn to, into living quarters. Mm. It's cool. We have we we have barns everywhere, and I keep saying we need to pull over and take a picture. We never do. Oh great! So they they live on in my memory, which is slowly or quickly disappearing, fading away. Okay. Now I like using chalk paint because it um, it leaves it, it's thick. So it covers really well. I usually can get things covered in one coat with chalk paint. Sometimes some colors, uh, depending on what I'm doing, I might have to do a second coat. And it dries really quickly and it has a really nice surface when it is dry. So that's why I like using chalk paint. You could use acrylic paint. It just might take more coats and longer to dry. So if you're not in a hurry, if you're not alive, then use whatever you want. Okay, so I think that covered pretty well in one coat. Scrape off my excess. Oh, I don't want that in there. In there. I'm putting my paintbrush in water so it doesn't dry and ruin the bristles. Okay, so again, that was crimson. Oh, something else I want to tell you. I'm going to dry this a little bit. Something else I wanted to tell you about club is I'm starting to get quite a few club members. So we are going to start doing a once a month craft party, craft night. And so I, I have a poll out on the VIP group. So if you are, if you are a club member or one of my designers, um, make sure you go to the VIP group and uh vote in that poll it's looking like it will be on a saturday night so probably the last saturday in february and what i envision is that it's a zoom meeting and we will all have our transfers by then you don't have to use it but you're welcome to and we will all chalk with our new transfers and i am going to send out some goodies to my club members. So I'm still gathering them from Amazon, but I think I showed you, I think I showed you before, I have some little wooden bicycle cutouts. Cute, cute, cute. Because our transfer has a bicycle on it. And I also got some bicycle napkins. So we can do some decoupage. So there will be a lot. And I'm waiting for at least one other thing to come in the mail. So your little goodie bag, your little freebie goodie bag to get ready for our craft party. We'll have lots of goodies with that bicycle theme that you can use however you see fit. So get in the club, get in the VIP group. You don't want to miss out on that. Okay, I think that is just about dry. Huh? Are we losing it? We're just having the same kind of issues that we've had now. Um, it's not quite as bad, but it's, it's doing okay. Um, if your whole explanation of that was jumpy. Okay. Most well, of the audio came through, but uh, the video was jumpy. So, probably just recap it later. Okay. So, if you're club and you want to be, if you want to go to a party with us, a Zoom party, and go we, over to the VIP group. We are a party. We are a party. We're a party looking for a place to land. I am a party. Okay, I'm going to kind of just... Oh, no, it wouldn't be February 29th. I, I don't know what she said. It only took Yeah, I think so. That way, that gives everybody enough time to get their transfers and decide what kind of surfaces they want to talk on. Okay. 
So I wanted to stress this up a little bit because a brand new painted barn is not all that, right? So I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to kind of distress the edges just a bit. So I'm just kind of sanding off those edges till I get back down to the wood. You don't have to worry about the very top because it's going to be covered up by this little lovely piece. Okay. okay, looks good. I like it. Let me dust off. paint sanding mess okay now I'm going to do something a little bit different I, I'm I want to wax this but because it's freshly painted on a wood surface and this is a sticky transfer so I don't want it to stick to the paint and pull it up but I'm going to use a different wax ordinarily I use my clear surface wax but I'm going to use something different tonight because I still want this to look a little more distressed. I'm going to use my dark wax. So it's the same type of wax. It's a paste wax, but it is it is dark. And it kind of puts a, it, it kind of darkens. So where did you get that? This I got off of Amazon. I believe, I believe I have a cart link for it on our page. So I'm going to do the same thing I ordinarily do with wax. I'm just going to put a little bit, but it's it's going to leave a little bit of color. Not a lot. It's just going to kind of darken up that paint so it's not a bright cherry red and it's it's kind of sinking into those edges that I sanded. I'm going to go down the edges too, just so it looks it the same. A little bit. It kind of antiques it. Yeah. So this is, the brand is Howard Chalk Teak Dark Paste Wax. And like I said, I think I have a, uh, pretty sure I have a, uh, not a cart link, but a, a product link under guides in our, so to be realistic, when you paint the back, you're probably going to want to chalk. Uh, you're yeah. probably going to wax it. Unless I unless I completely do a different color on the back, or or I might even want to uh, mod podge something, mod podge a napkin on the back or something, some sort of pattern. Okay, now I want to buff off most of that wax. So it's not super obvious, but you can see it, it has kind of toned down, deepened that color of red, which is, I like it. Okay, and this, this doesn't smell as bad as the regular paste wax, but it, it does have a little more of an odor than my clear stuff. Okay, so I've got that buffed off and I am ready to oh I didn't want to do that okay so I'm ready to chalk this on again I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the bird and I want to make sure that that okay that will work I'm going to turn on my glue gun because I'm going to need it later so let's get out my fuzzing cloth again I've waxed it so I, I have a little layer of protection between the paint and the transfer, but this is a sticky transfer. I've used it a time or two, so it's not super, super sticky anymore, but it, it kind of is. So I'm going to, we call it fuzzing it. I'm just applying a thin layer of um, lint to the back. So it kind of ease it, eases up on its stickiness. I'm going to center that and I'm going to push it down 
and make sure there's no air bubbles. Okay, and it, it I can tell that wax, you know what? I feel like that wax needs a little bit more buffing. My transfer didn't really want to stick too well to that. So I'm going to buff oh, that a little bit more off. Okay, let's try this again. Feels like home in our red barn. We have a wood barn. It's not enclosed. It's a barn for our trailers. <laughs> Well, it okay, was a, much better. It was a cattle barn, a feed barn. But, yeah, uh, back so when, back yeah, when there barn. used to be Cheryl cattle said, and donkeys here. Cheryl said that she found that on Amazon. Oh, good. Okay. And then, um, so did you go search it or did you use my link? And then, and then Carol said, when you wash it, does the lint? Come yes, off? it does. And when I, I'll show you, I'll clean it up. But yes, that is what you do when you turn it over. You are cleaning out the paste and you're also cleaning off that lint. And it does come off with just water. Okay, so I'm going to chalk this with white. So this is chalk paste. It is... Uh-oh. Oh, barn. Okay, barn is the magic word. <laughs> you win. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, you so win, this is girl. this is chalk in paste form. So it is um, it oh. is thicker than paint, and it's the perfect consistency to work with our silk screen transfers. These are reusable. You can use them ten to twelve times, guaranteed by the company, as long as you take good care of them and clean them up right away. They'll last you. They'll last you more than twelve. Okay, so I'm going to. This is our bright white. So I'm going to put a little bit on a squeegee, which is just a little rubber piece. And I'm again. I'm not going to do the bird, and just to make sure I don't. I'm going to put a little piece of placement tape, which is kind of like painters tape, kind of like um, washi tape, if you use that. And I just, I'm going to mask that off so I don't accidentally get a bird foot on this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got a little bit of paste on my squeegee, and I'm just going to drag it down. I'm not going to push too hard. She just and got the bird. I just, I just got just, some on the bird. Just gave her the bird. That's all right. I can, I put wax on it. I might be able to get it off. That's what I get for talking and chalking. Ooh, that could be the title of our club party. Talking and chalking. Okay. Super simple. If you can spread butter on toast, you can chalk. Okay, this is water soluble, non toxic, and it when it dries, it's smudge and budge proof. But on some surfaces, it is um, removable. Ha! Ah, it didn't get it. Okay, so I'm going to do this slowly. Okay, that's part of the transfer. I'm going to do this slowly to make sure I got everything, because if I didn't. I can lay it right back down and it'll go right back in place. Here we go. Feels like home. What do you think? I did that and didn't have to weed any vinyl. I can do it over and over and over again. Okay. So there's a couple little spots that look like I missed part of it, but I didn't. It, that's, that's the transfer. It's kind of meant to be speckledy, kind of like a farm. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm done with that. S simple project. And you know what I should do? I should probably, if I wanted to, I could. You could. I could. That's true. What did I do with it? You could put that wax on I could put. I could put the wax on this. And it would darken it. And would darken it. Is there an echo in here? Yeah, you keep repeating me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on. I don't... 
it's it looks it looks good enough but let's try it yeah i just kind of darken it a little bit Kind of brings out some of that wood grain. You can also do this with paint and a like a baby wipe. Something that it's it's the moisture that kind of um, makes the stain. But here we're doing it with with our dark wax. Okay, and I am just going to glue this back down. You know, the only problem with that, you know, living up here where we see a whole lot of barns, you don't find, um, you don't find um, uh, chimneys on barns. That's just a gambrel roof on a home. Well, that's called a gambrel well, roof. Well, Killjoy, <laughs> is that what we were going to buy that one time? What do you mean we're going to buy? Yes. Yes, that the house, the, the first house, house you're looking at. It's okay. Gambrel, it's it's Dutch colonial. Okay, so that's I'm gonna glue that on. I've got my glue gun hot, screaming hot, and I'm going to uh -oh. just put a thin, thin layer. Don't want it thick because that will that will give it too much dimension. Get that down and push it down. There we go. What do you think? Cute, cute, cute. Cute on a shelf. Cute on a um, tiered tray. Lots of things you could use this for. Okay, that's so, so cute. Let me show you how we clean our transfers. Someone was asking about about the the buzz on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this with water. This is just this is actually just spilled water, but you can just use tap water. And I'm going to spray it. And didn't bring up my. I'm going to use one of these. Uh, these are called Swedish dish cloths. You don't have to do this. This is just something I've discovered. I used to use paper towels for this step, but now I've, I've discovered these towels and they are like reusable paper towels. You can use them, I don't know, dozens of time. You can stick them in the washing washer. Uh, they're kind of like a chamois, but... Actually, I just but, washed them in the dish sink the other night. Biodegradable, all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm doing is I am just, let me take this tape off. I am just removing this first layer of paste. So I get the bulk of it on this. And you can see it doesn't completely, even though I'm pushing pretty hard, it doesn't completely come off. That's when I'm going to switch to my board eraser. Now, this you really do need to have. This is like a magic eraser. I'm trying to see what's wrong with my... This is like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals in it. So I'm going to... I have a little pan of water over here. I'm going to get it wet, wring it out. Now, this completely cleans up whatever grit is on here completely cleans off that paste and I'm working to get it out of the screen and that and by working I don't mean I'm not really putting in much muscle okay but this doesn't have the right texture but this just this got a lot of the paste off so I I can use this less and make it make this last longer because these don't last forever I'm going to turn it over and this is where I am getting the paste out of the back of the screen and i'm also paying attention to that sticky side where the the lint is and i am wiping that off too and it comes off again these whatever the texture is of these sponges works perfect for just grabbing 
grabbing that lint off of there and the paste. So once my screen is clear, I am done. So I just flip it back over. I'm going to let it air dry with the sticky side up. Once it's air dried, I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet. There's a shiny side. If you can see it, there's a side that's shiny and then there's a side that's matte. So I'm going to put the sticky, the shiny side to the sticky side when I'm done. And then I'll put it back in its little cellophane wrapper and it's good to go for the next, for the next use. Okay, so that was it. Well, most barns aren't heated unless the cows are um, <laughs> giving off methane gas. Okay, so this is pretty much dry. Let me give it just a, just a blast of air. And once it's dry, like I said, it's smudge and bud proof. It's not going to come off unless I soak it off in water. Now I could I could doll this up with a bow or or some jute or something, but I, I just kind of like it plain and simple. What do you think? Do you like it? Have you seen these at your Dollar Tree? So a dollar and I have a cute surface with a cute little saying, feels like home. I like it. Yes, I do. I like the wax on it too. It just gives it it's it just dulls this bright red just enough so it looks more barn like i guess okay and i got hot glue string through there okay so this is dry smudge and budge proof it's not coming off okay so that was our project for tonight uh something else i want to tell you about um, if you have been watching, or even if this is your first time and you've, you're watching what I'm doing and you think that looks like, that looks like fun, whether it's fun to use the product or you think it might be fun to do a, to do a live video, or you think it might be fun to, you know, even to the extreme of, of starting your own small business. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot that's available to you through Chalk Couture. And I would love to have a time where I could sit down and chat with you about it. <coughs> so I have created an event on the VIP page uh, called an Opportunity Live. And I'm just going to share with you information of how Chalk Couture can fit into your life from just being someone who watches our videos which is absolutely fine if you just want to watch and, and hopefully be entertained, maybe be inspired, get ideas. That is perfectly fine. We'd love to have you. But, you know, all the range from customer to club to, to designer to full-blown business, I'd like to talk to you about, about what the opportunities are and how it might how it might fit in, make, be a good fit for you and your family. So I'd love to have you join me. Uh, it's tomorrow night, six o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, join, it is through the VIP page. So please, there's a pinned comment. You can join the VIP page through that link. It's free, no obligation. Uh, look for the event and tell us that you're coming. We will be having some giveaways at the end. So uh, time for you to get some information and to ask, ask questions. You can ask me anything. So um, I think that's it. So hopefully you'll come. Thanks, Carol. I love, I do, I love that color too. I was a little worried it would look too Christmassy, but that dark wax was just the thing. So, okay. Um, I also have a, a link handy if you are interested in purchasing this remember this transfer is only available through Monday night you might get it early 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 on Tuesday morning because the launch starts at 8 o'clock Pacific time but um, I have a I have a link if you if you're interested in the paste and the oh, and I think I put black paste I think I put black paste in the cart link. I don't know why I was thinking black. So you can swap that out for white if you're interested. Um, if you type in barn, like Cheryl did <laughs> on accident, you'll get a message to your messenger and it'll be a link to to my chalk shop. And there's, there's a link for the transfer and there's a link for the tools and supplies. So take a look and no obligation. 
And again, we hope you will give us some hearts. Follow our page if you aren't already. Click on, here's how you do it. You click at the top, if you're watching from your phone, click at the top of the screen, like on my forehead, and it'll say Raincross Farms Makery, and then there'll be three dots. And click those three dots, and you'll have a drop down menu, and it will give you the option to follow our page, uh, to get notifications of when we go live, or to favorite our page. So it comes up regularly in your in your Facebook feed if you favorite us. So easy to do. You don't even have to log off the screen to do that. Anyway, we would love it if you do that. If you have any questions, please say something in the comments. I will be going through the comments, um, seeing seeing if the, if I missed anything. And you know what? Go back and recap what you're doing on the. Uh the party thing that we're setting up that we're having problems on the video before. okay so do the do your, the pose thing real quick for okay we gotta do the pose so that, so, that, and... so that i don't have a funky looking there you go so i don't have a funky looking photo when yeah. the, when the they pick a frame for me and say goodbye okay. to people on youtube because i'm okay okay bye-bye right youtubers um 